Hi, this is Dr. Rob Rosbrook, and this is an animation of an osseointegration amputation reconstruction of the tibia. Now, there are problems with socket wear, and many patients have difficulties. It particularly applies if the residual limb is short. The advantages of osseointegration involve a direct skeletal connection uh, between the bone and the prosthesis and eliminates the need for a socket. Planning starts with an x-ray and a CT scan that allows us to size the optimal implant for the bone. The implant is planned. Sizing is critical because we're looking for a, a very tight fit and stability immediately. The technique is done with an incision through the end of the leg, a stoma is created, and a wire is placed centrally in the bone. The canal is prepared first with a drill and then with brooches. The implant is optimally sized so that there is immediate stability and fit. The implant is porous coated and is impacted into position. Immediate stability is achieved. A dual cone connector is applied. And this is followed by the rest of the components of the abutment. A bushing is applied, and that uh, helps protect the implant from excessive force. And as things are tightened, care is taken to prevent rotational stress on the implant. This is the part that sticks out beyond the leg. After the surgery, there's a gradual loading program that uh, ensues over a few weeks. And at the appropriate time, the prosthetic leg is attached. First ambulation is started with two crutches, and then this is transitioned to full weight bearing. Connection of the prosthetic leg to the abutment is rather simple. In my experience, patients have been weight bearing uh, completely without assistance after about three months. This is Jesse at one year following the surgery showing his much improved function as he ascends a hill in New York City.